Now, generally, whenever I get vector questions like this, I always start to draw a diagram. And what I've got here is I've drawn O as the origin, and I've got my unit vector I in the easterly direction, and my vector J, unit vector J, in the northerly direction. And we're told that the ship passes through the point 9i minus 6j when t is naught hours. So I'm going to go across here 9 units and 6 down to illustrate that. So this is not drawn to scale, but let's say that that is 9 units across, 6 units down. So I'll just label that 9 minus 6 as a coordinate. And this is when t was equal to 0. So we'll just put t equals 0 as well there. Next, we're told that after 4 hours, the ship passes through the point 21.10. So if I go across 21 and then up 10 units, this point here, let's say, is the point 21i, 10j. That's that vector O to there. As a coordinate, it will just be 21, 10. And the ship passes through here when t equals 4 hours. So we've got that. So we we'll just mark on the path of our ship. It's going along there, and it carries on in a straight line through that point. Now then, we've got to find the speed of the ship. So how am I going to do that? Well. I'm going to label this point, say, as A, and this point here as B. And so what I'm trying to find then is to get this speed, all I've got to do is find the distance AB. And because it took four hours to go from here, then all I've got to do is speed is equal to distance divided by the time taken. So that'd be AB divided by the time taken for. So how do I get this distance A to B? Well, there's various ways that you can do it. And one way that springs to mind in a sketch like this is that if we use Pythagoras' theorem, we can get the distance AB by thinking something like this. Let's just draw a dotted line down there and down here so we have a right angle triangle. and our right angle is here. So by Pythagoras' theorem, this distance squared, the hypotenuse squared, is equal to the sum of the squares of the two shorter sides. So that's that side squared plus that side squared. So if I apply Pythagoras' theorem, we've got the distance AB squared is equal to this distance squared, which is the difference between the I components, or if you like, the X coordinates, so it'd be 21 minus 9, 21 minus 9, and that gives us the length of this side, which you can see 21 minus 9 is 12, so we could write that that's 12 units there. And we would square that and add it to the difference between the y coordinates or the j components. That would be 10 minus minus 6, 10 minus minus 6. So that means that this length here is 16 units. And we would, by Pythagoras' theorem, need to square that side. All right? So let's just work out what that distance AB squared is. So we said that 21 minus 9 is 12. So we've got 12 squared plus 10 minus minus 6, which is 16. And that's squared. And if you work that out, what you get is 400. So if we square root both sides, we get AB equals the square root of 400, which is 20. So A to B is 20 kilometers. So what does that mean? Well, it means clearly that the speed of the ship S is equal to the distance AB, which we now know is 20 kilometers, divided by the time taken, which is four hours. So it's clearly going at five kilometers per hour. Okay, so that 
is one way that we could get the speed. You could use vectors directly to get the distance AB. Um, if you did want to do that, let's just find some room up here. How could we do that? Well, you could say that A to B as a vector is equal to, well, if you're going from there to there, you'd have to go down to here and then back up over to B there. So in other words, going from A to B is the same as going from A to O. Let's just mark that in. A to O followed by, which is plus in vectors, O to B. And if I write O to B first of all, now A to O, A to O is the same as going minus O to A. So I can write it like this. Now this is a standard result when you want to go from one place to another using position vectors. It's O to the last letter minus O to the first letter. So you should try and learn that result. It would save you doing this all the time. So using vectors, what is O to B? Well, O to B as a vector was 21i plus 10j. And to save space, I'm going to write it as a column vector, 21 10. And then we're minusing the vector O to A, so that is 9i minus 6j, so 9 minus 6. 21 minus 9 is going to be 12, and 10 minus minus 6 is 16. So we've got the vector AB as 12, 16. And when you want to find the length of a vector, the magnitude of a vector, often written like this, then we use Pythagoras' theorem. It's the square root of the sum of the squares of the components. So you can hopefully see that this is achieving what we did down here. So if you work this out, you're going to get that the magnitude of AB is 20 kilometers if you do it by a vector method. All the same, you then come on to calculate the speed then as being 20 divided by 4 and get your 5 kilometers per hour. All right, so the two methods there and hopefully you've been able to follow both methods and take a suitable one, whatever you prefer. Okay, well that brings us now to the end of this part of the question.